The Sports Desk is brought to you by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. Well, if you enjoy baseball, particularly Cardinals baseball, this is the month for you. Not only can you watch the Redbirds in spring training, you can also watch a bunch of guys representing their countries in the World Baseball Classic. There are three right here on Team USA, and so was tonight's starter. Miles Michaelis got the call for Team USA's first tune-up game against the San Francisco Giants. He went two and two-thirds innings, allowing two runs. The biggest blast for the USA came from our MVP, Paul Goldschmidt. He unloads on this one to the opposite field for a solo shot. He's ready for the tournament. Giants had a 5-1 to lead at last check. How about the actual Cardinals today? Prospects made some more noise. Mason Wynn had a double in that nice catch, and Jordan Walker raised his spring training average to 429. Brendan Donovan had a three-run shot, and former WashU Bear Ryan Lutis had another perfect inning. The Cardinals beat the Yankees 4 to nothing. Back to Walker, our spring training insider thinks next week is the pivotal test for the 20-year-old prospect. I really feel like next week, will be the real high water mark for him because I think you're going to see more teams go after him, maybe throw him a few more breaking balls, some sliders, and just see what his swing level is going to be, whether he's going to go after that pitch and chase it or he's going to make them throw strikes. Well, the East St. Louis Flyers are in the Illinois 3A semifinals on Friday. They knocked off the defending champion Sacred Heart Griffin in double overtime on Monday to get there. And next up is 32-2 Metamora, Winners of their last 30. We just gonna go in and do what we usually do, just take it as another game for real, just do what we gotta do, just play as a team, play together, and just try to get the W. Once you start the playoffs, everybody's zero and zero, so both of us are five and five and zero right now. Yeah. And uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna be prepared. We're gonna watch film. We're gonna be prepared for for whatever they bring. While East St. Louis and Jabot will be going for state titles this weekend, the Metro East girls already did their work, and it was a historic championship season to say the least. As Oakville wins the Class 1A title, the Metro East owned Redbird Arena in Normal last weekend. First, the Oakville girls captured the Class 1A title, the program's first in 23 years. This community has been phenomenal when it comes to basketball and just to be able to put our name in that group is unbelievable. Then the 2A Modern Day Knights won their first ever title. As for the first time in the history of the school, the Breeze Modern Day girls claim a state championship. Anchored by a historic triple-double from sophomore Alyssa Kirkenmeyer. She was a monster. She was getting every rebound, getting every block. I heard the fan section, they were yelling triple-double, and I looked up at the big screen in the middle, and I saw it, and I was like, wow, I just did that. And finally, O'Fallon was also a first-time winner at Class 4A. And O'Fallon, your 2023 state champions in 4A. Yeah, the first team ever to do it, like, we leaving the mark. Everybody know who we are now. This team at O'Fallon will be remembered forever. There are only four levels of girls basketball in Illinois. Teams from our area won three of the championships up for grabs. Not too shabby. The Chicago area, you know, gets a lot of coverage, so we just want to make sure that our name gets out there. To do three in one day, um, that is something that probably will never be broken again. And while it's history now, the players are hoping to instill that passion for winning in the next generation of Southern Illinois Hoopers. I think it's really cool because like the little girls that are in the grade school right now will be able to look up to us and say, oh, I want to be like them when I grow up or something like that. Definitely a lot of talent to be proud of on the high school courts in the Metro East That's, right now. Yeah, yeah it's so cool. cool. Congratulations to all of those young ladies. Corey, thanks.